a very short one, 45 minutes probably on financial literacy for teenagers. Uh. Uh, so number one, we actually want to uh, get the expectation correct or get the definition correct. Yeah? So financial literacy doesn't mean more and more money. Yeah? Doesn't mean that, oh, how to turn $1 to become $10 the shortest time. Uh, that's called gambling. <laughs> that's not called financial literacy. Yeah? Okay, so end of the day, you know, we also want to make sure we are always the master of money, not slave to money. Yeah? So of course, uh, I'm quite sure around us, you have seen people really being slave to money. Okay, we said that uh, our family is more important than anything else. Yet, most of the time, we actually spend on chasing money rather than spending time on family. Okay, so there must be a right balance. So really, the key thing about financial literacy or the key thing, the program we try to uh, bring across here is the number one, it's definitely not about more and more money. Okay, but... Number two, manage money wisely, lah, not becoming a slave to money and how to use them wisely to give us a fulfilling life. Also, this is really the, uh, uh, the ultimate objective we want to bring across to the participants of this program. Eh? Okay, so uh, the target audience will be teenagers. Uh, we are actually looking for people, I think minimum age should be about 14 years old. Um, Maximum age, uh, I think for this group is about 18. Uh. So of course, for those who are older, if they want to join, they're welcome. Okay, so in fact, uh, when we design this program, we think it's actually suitable to people up to like 24, 24 years old. Um, that means uh, before they even go, uh, the, those who are actually before they start working. Uh. Okay, but of course, uh, I think we want to group the age group together. So we are looking for people who are like between 14 to 18 years old. And this is how we actually want to bring the education to them. I think gone were the days whereby, you know, you just want to talk, they listen, talk, they listen, and they agree, okay, I think that's gone. So what we have done here is this. Uh, we have actually came up with a simulation game so that they can really play, play out their decisions. Uh. So that they can actually play out their decisions, then after that they can see the outcome of the decision. Okay. And of course, whether they are agreeable with it or not. Okay. Which I thought is uh, very um applicable. Uh. So in fact, now my uh, when I have my discussion with my daughter, uh, you know, I like the way my father actually teach me. Uh, he's always like he is right, I am wrong. Okay, I'm quite sure for those who are about my age, uh, you probably have the same feeling. But now when we actually talk to our kids, uh, uh, if you use that method, then it's actually going to be very difficult. Uh. So a lot of time is, you know, we have to discuss, uh, we have to let them explore, okay, we have to let them find out what is right and what is wrong for themselves. Uh. And this is uh, what uh, we have actually planned out in this program. Uh. So basically through the simulation game, okay, there's no right or wrong answer but it actually give them the insights uh, of the outcome of their money decision. So what is this game is about? Let me just um, do a very quick run through. So this is what happened here. Uh, so the three of us, we have actually put on a lot of effort, try to make the numbers as realistic as possible. So we are actually simulating this, simulating this guy who is 20 years old. Uh, so you can imagine uh, either just after army or just after the A-levels, okay? And he has to start making some money decisions. Uh. So our assumption that, uh, is that he has uh, no money right now. And the first thing had to decide, okay? No money, should you actually work first uh, to earn some money? Or should you actually go and borrow money to study first? Okay, so again, we are not here to say what is right or what is wrong. Okay, but, you know, as they play out, okay, they can actually see their outcome. So, of course, uh, if they choose to work first, uh, that is very limited job. They probably can only do things like packing assistant. No? Uh, at the same time, uh, you know, even if you just come out, uh, you also have what have expense. Uh, what's the lifestyle on food? Okay, maybe initially uh, some basic food uh, and of course some people may say that oh i want to have some stay better place okay uh, i want to have some basic needs so and so forth okay uh, so from there they already have such making such decision they say oh no okay actually you know even just by 
doing a normal work without studying first, I may not be even able to sustain my lifestyle. Okay? They may not be able to sustain lifestyle. Then after that, okay, uh, okay, I think someone forgot to unmute. Uh. Okay, give me one minute. Okay, <laughs> interesting. Got some um, uh, music now. Eh? So anyway, okay. So they may not be uh, uh, they may not be even to even sustain themselves. So of course, uh, what do they have to do? Okay, they have to take up personal loan, as you can see here. Okay, so of course, this program will also tell them, hey, is it okay to take up personal loan? Which in real life uh, is very realistic. Uh, we actually have quite a number of youngsters. Uh, taking up credit card loans, uh, I was very shocked with the numbers I saw in terms of those people who are delayed uh, paying their credit card bills. Uh. So again, like I said, we actually use very realistic numbers. And of course, they have to decide uh, whether they actually want to continue such lifestyle or either that they want to choose, okay, instead of working, okay, maybe I do part-time, I actually go and study part-time. Okay study part-time, okay? And does that really help to improve their lifestyle not, not over time? Uh? Then after that, they can see that, okay? Oh no, their loan actually start to build up. Uh. Okay, then after that, of course, uh, they will keep playing to see, okay, how do they actually manage their loan? How do they actually solve this loan issue? And, um. When we play this game, a lot of people will be thinking that, hey, you know, end of the day, so you are talking about more money, more money, no. Okay, no, uh, if you think about it in real life or end of the day, what do we really want? We actually want to achieve this thing called happiness. Uh. Okay, so this game is also not about, oh, whoever has the most money wins. Uh. Okay, definitely not the case. So uh, to sort of, okay, of course, we are going to have a little competition. So... One way we are actually going to play this competition is eventually who has the ha highest happiness index. Uh. So again, this is very in line with a lot of young people thinking uh, like this term called YOLO. Wow, if I actually don't go and backpack today, I'll never go and backpack again. You know, if I don't go to Maldives and scuba dive, I will never go and dive again. Okay, so a lot of them actually want to achieve high happiness index today. And of course, uh, at expense of money, okay? So let's say, for example, entertainment, they actually want to have luxurious entertainment. I want, with that, I get highest happiness index, okay? And of course, uh, from this game, they will learn, uh, if I actually do that, okay, what's going to happen? My loan will just keep snowballing, snowballing. So is that the way to go? Uh, so of course, uh, Again, like I said, we have no right or wrong answer. The good thing about this game is uh, anything happened, they could just restart <laughs> and, you know, try out different scenarios and for them to see for themselves. For them to see for themselves. Say, instead of focusing on, uh, what do you call that? Uh, all the entertainment first. So what if I just focus on all the basic survival first? Okay, almost everything very basic, okay, and study first, what is the outcome going to be, and of course, if I can, I should go for a professional degree, for example, what is the outcome going to be, okay, and from this game, they themselves can decide, oh, okay, uh, and of course, we bring in the concept of delayed gratification, and of course, it's always good to have study first, okay, uh, then from then they see, uh, okay, don't be so short term. Uh. After a while, if you like, for example, now decided to be a grab driver, which probably can earn more than, a, I don't know, a, a medical intern. Uh, but then over long term, uh, they, can, they can actually see the impact. Okay, so Kenny and Alvin, do you actually want to jump in here on the learning points while we actually play this game? Yeah, uh, maybe I'll just start off first. Uh, uh, I think yeah. for, for most of us, uh, that is our, our age one. Uh, when we were studying, right, I don't think we are exposed to uh, uh, topics like or subjects in, in uh, financial literacy. Uh, school, school doesn't teach us that. 
and uh, maybe school nowadays will, will, will introduce to students, but whatever it is, uh, because of the lack of it, right? So the first instance that we are exposed to, to so-called uh, making financial decision uh, is when we step out into the society and started working. And that's the first, probably the first time that, that you know, with a uh, new earning power, then we get to spend and then we get to make uh, financial decisions. But uh, without a good uh, knowledge of, of about uh, budgeting, about uh, financial, a uh, good good knowledge of, of financial literacy, right? Sometimes we may make decision that is will set us back for a number of years in, in our life. The good thing about this, this uh, uh, game is that you know, when, when a decision is made and if the, the, the participant, you know, discover that he has made a, a sort, of, sort of a wrong decision and he wish to start, start again, and at least the game allows you to start again and explore new options, new strategies and, and new approaches, uh, especially for teenagers. Uh, like I agree with what Yimin says, uh, as, also as a, as a father myself, nowadays when we teach our, our kids, right, we no longer able to use our parents' uh, style. Uh, uh, I say this, uh, then you have to follow. This this unfortunately doesn't work anymore. Uh. You you need to you need to get in connect with them. You need to to you know, speak to them, and get them to under get into them to to see from their perspective. So similarly, through the game, and we try to make this game very realistic uh, in in the life choices that a young working adult would make, so that the the teenagers themselves would also see the perspective of a young working adult and get to, to feel how challenging it is or how stressful it is if you're not making enough to, to, to cover what your life uh, expenses is. So uh, I hope this, this course will really give a, a good uh, head start uh, to the students, to the teenagers on, on financial uh, literacy and uh, help them to make a better decision with respect to uh, um, financial and money, money, money decisions in, in their life. Uh, back to you, Imin. Thank you so much. Uh, Alvin, anything from you here? Sure. Thanks, man. Right. Evening and Kenny. Thanks, man. So what we all have here, right, correct, something very interesting, what you call reset button, right? So a lot of times, right, correct, we try to want to reset our life, uh, cannot, uh, right? <laughs> so we cannot. Uh, so it's like, we, we can't live in the so-called, what we call the regret, the so-called like regret medicine and those things, right, correct? So that's why, right, where we, are the adults here to educate our kids so not to fall for those like, traps and those things in our other life so they will not like take a long way take a long way or go to a wrong way, way in their life like. so over here the reset button is very cool right i loved it but i cannot clear okay. <laughs> so next thing right the whole thing is that we work study lifestyle and life transform blah 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 all these things right correct are the essential things right for all of us to like to stay alive like. So the kids, right, nowadays, they do not, like, some of them, right, they do not really understand that how much does it cost, right, to actually rent a place, right? How much does it cost, right, to eat a basic meal? So some of them just take a pocket money, right, just like, oh, I go to school every day, $5, right, one week, $25, my pocket money. That's my pocket money. It's my allowance. If I, I want more allowance, I ask my parents. So they, they don't understand that, oh, Actually, to run a house, to run basic living for a, I house a, a household member, these are the basic amount he need to pay. So, like that, right, through this game, right, correct, we are actually, right, wish, wish that the kids, right, will have some gratitude towards us. Like, hey, actually, what, that is pay so much for your transport. Wow, I sent you to school, eh. Hey, so, that, this amount of money I have you save, eh. But if you want to pay, uh, you pay me, uh, wow, how much, yeah? 1.4K, eh. Hey, you pay me, uh. My, I'm your dad driver, father driver. Uh, so, so like that, the, the kids probably know some call we call appreciation. But further on to add on, right? So the work and study part, right? Correct. So study, right? Full-time and part-time. Right? Some people, right? Some students, right? May say that, that right, study part-time, right? So let's say that there's a part-time, right? Correct. So part-time be part-time over here. Yes, correct. So there's a part-time. So like, hey, part-time while studying. Yes, it's very tiring. So at least right, you can earn some income. So there's as a, some of the students reflect to me, hey job, I'll go poly the time. I you go take part-time, what part-time job in 7 level at McDonald's. So right, so over here, right, correct, we will let them know that it hey, if you take up part-time and those things, right, correct, the length of course right actually longer than those right who are studying full-time. So give and take because you study part-time, so you cannot focus fully. 
Or at, on the other hand, those full-time students, right, correct? So they are they are actually focused fully, right? So that shows the students right about the difference between the part-time and full-time. Right. Then further to add on, right, the loan, right? Loan is not something bad, lah. It's not bad, lah. It's something that unless you take the loan to go and uh, that one, uh, anyhow, spend that's different. So over here, loan to study is actually for it encourage students to do. So I don't think I have more side more things, more things for my side. Even this. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Elvin and Kenny. Okay. Uh, so of course, uh, as we this game progress, you can see the each get more and more. Uh, then they will see whether do they accumulate more money here. Uh, or other than they have accumulated more loans here. Uh, uh, then uh, as the age progress, then slowly they have to go to uh, another form of decision, which is basically, you know, things like car, properties, enrichment. Okay, should they actually buy a car? So buy a car will actually increase the happiness index. Okay, but then, you know, it's going to be expensive. So how do they balance that? How do they make those decisions? Okay, property, um, as we all know, today property is not just a roof of our head. It's also a very good investment tool. Okay, so does it make sense for them to buy property early or buy property late? Huh? So a lot of people have this notations uh, that, oh, okay, I should save up enough to go and buy property. Uh, but if let's say, for example, you think about it, if you, if you, um, if you actually do that five years ago, okay, to think that, oh, yeah, I don't want to buy first, uh, five later than I buy, then today the property prices has appreciated. Uh, then maybe it's even out of reach. Uh. So we even actually built in all this scenario uh, in this spreadsheet. Nah. Uh, uh, of course, definitely financial decision, we have to include investments uh. so this is where we also will actually share with them what are investments okay what is a fixed deposit what's a bond what's a tax stock what's a read so on and so forth okay uh so in this case uh, a lot of people have the perception that investment is about making money quick okay it's about buy low sell high no one no one so in fact investment uh, for a lot of professional investors is about you uh. it's about getting returns uh. okay annual returns uh, and down here, they have to make a decision. Uh, should I actually invest or should I just focus on luxuries? Uh, for example, luxuries to increase my happiness index. Uh, so again, I'm quite sure even for us today, this is something uh, we ourselves have to balance with. Uh, if let's say I got $20,000 today, should I put it in a stock market or should I go to Europe? Okay. Um, so, of course, to put in the stock market, it will actually reap more profits for us. Go to Europe, we will increase our happiness index. But then, hey, you know, at the end of the day, what's going to happen? Huh? So, in fact, uh, um, as an adult, when we play, it also can be quite interesting, not even for the children. Huh? So, uh, yeah, so that's what happened. And, of course, um, at the second day, we have a little competition. As I mentioned just now, of course, I'm not going to tell you what is to play to what age. Huh? So, end of the day, I think uh, we I'm quite sure you all agree with me. End of the day, we don't want to be slave to money. You know, there's actually, yes, we keep working money, but there's actually one point we should stop. I'm not saying stop making money, slow down, but then focus on happiness. Huh? Okay, I'm quite sure. I'm, I don't think any of us here is like, oh, the, your mission in life just to make money, make money, make money, a lot of money, make money. On the day we die, we have $10 billion and, you know, no life. Okay, I don't think that's what we want. So actually, uh, again, I want to stress when we actually run this program, a lot is about this happiness index. Okay. Um, or at least in our game, the winner will be the one with the highest happiness index. So this is where they have to form the balance. Uh, yeah, we talk about okay, don't don't focus on happiness first, make money first. Okay, but then at the end of the day, the game is about having happiness index. So how do we actually try to achieve that? Uh, so um there's uh, different ways. So this is where they start exploring. Uh the last time when we play with um um our target group, so by the way, this is the second time you're actually running. So, yep, so we have the participant playing easily 20, 30 times and they were quite happy. Like, eventually, they, they found certain strategies 
that really fit them. Huh? And of course, uh, we are not going to tell you uh, what at what age, uh, okay? What uh, this we will play this game until what age? Uh, they had to figure they had to figure themselves what is the best strategy for them. Okay, yeah. So um, yes, um, this is the simulation game that we are talking about, and it really you know let the let the player learn from themselves. Uh. And I think just now Alvin brought out a very good point. Uh. They also start to appreciate things that we have been doing for them. So again, like I said, all these figures, uh, we didn't really pluck from Sky, okay? We make sure we actually get them as close as possible. Uh, like for example, degree in medicine, okay, easily per year is about 100,000. And we even factor in inflation inside this game. Now. So let's say they decided, okay, I want to work first. I want to study five years later. Uh, at that point in time, you can see that the price will actually increase it yeah so maybe i can actually show you all okay let's see um okay so we have built in a lot of checks huh? so let's say for example um you will work first okay then after that then say oh i want to go for Medical school, I'll say 21 years old already, right? I want to go for medical school. Can you see? Uh, we also affecting things like inflation. Uh, then they will also start to appreciate. Uh. So even things like, for example, property. Okay. We also include things like appreciation inside. And they have to ask themselves, uh, should they really delay that process? Okay. Uh, if there's any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, you can type on the chat uh, so we can answer them as we go along. Or either that, uh, we will answer your question at the end of the session. Uh. You mean I think there's one uh, comment, uh, Stephen, uh, yes, in the chat? Uh, uh, oh, yes, yes, of course, uh, uh, Stephen. Yes, that's precisely the point that we are trying to put across. Uh, again, like I shared, you know, the winner of the game Okay, we actually put it like a game. It's never about who has the most money. It's actually about who has the highest happiness index. Huh? Okay, uh, thank you so much. Huh? Uh, so of course, one other thing that we will also be uh, emphasizing on is this concept called financial freedom. Lah. Financial freedom, uh, whereby we have the investment yield higher than the expenses. Ah. Higher expenses. Uh, so again, um, we actually want to bring across the point, a lot of times investment is not just more, not about more and more money, but actually investment can actually give us freedom to do what we really like in life. Uh. So we're not saying that once you achieve financial freedom, you stop working, no. But at least with financial freedom, you have choices. You can make choices. Of course, you can continue to work uh, or either that you can do something which in your opinion is actually more meaningful. Uh. So this is also being emphasized in the game as well. And to achieve financial freedom, they have to make sure that investment you, okay, is going to be higher than their expenses. Huh? So a lot of times, end of the day, it's about balance. Uh. So of course, you want to achieve financial freedom. The best way is to make sure that your expenses are low. But then if your expenses are low, your happiness index is not there. So how do you actually find the balance? Uh, so through this game, they will have to figure out themselves. Uh. Okay. Okay, Stephen, thanks for your uh, comment. Uh. So to summarize, uh, this is uh, what we are offering. We are just, uh, you know, having this game session. This is not like a class or, you know, uh, uh, a lecture session whereby I talk, the kids listen. I think that will not work. Uh, we actually just want the, the kids to just play this game. Huh? So of course, play this game under guidance. Lah. So don't just play this game blindly. Uh, we are having thinking of a two sessions. So the first session, when they just join us, uh, they will have the overview of the simulation game. So before, before the class, they will be sent the spreadsheet already. They'll be given a spreadsheet. Okay, uh, then uh, we will actually go through some of the key factors or uh, terms in the game, okay, which is basically break down into these three parts, investment products, investment terminology, and financial freedom. Uh, so basically, while they play the game, they also start learning some hard 
financial investment knowledge, uh, like what is a bond, what's a stock. Okay. On the second day, they will just come in, they will start playing. Uh, we will have competition, two competition with different objective. And while they actually play it, uh, uh, then they can have, have an understanding of uh, what is the best way. Uh, uh, what is the best way or most suitable way for them? So, of course, uh, we believe it's through the debrief, through some of the learnings. This is where they really get the financial knowledge. Okay, to summarize, uh, eventually the participants will learn three main things. Number one, the investment products. What are some of the investment products that is commonly available? Stocks, bonds, REITs. Uh, I know now a lot of them are being um, intrigued by crypto you know, Bitcoin, okay? But end of the day, I think they should have a good sense of what are some of the basic investment product first before they go to something so sexy, yeah? Okay, so, and the other part that we also want to emphasize here is this, you know, why we have so many different arrays of investment product. So what situation uh, should we use? What kind of products, okay? Uh, next is uh, they will also be introduced to this uh, investment financial mathematics. What's inflation? What's compounding? How to calculate investment yield? Uh, how to do interest calculation? A little bit of accounting, income and expense. Uh. So from the game, uh, they will have a better understanding. Of course, all these points we will also talk through uh, to make sure they have a good grasp as well. And most importantly, they will walk away with all these financial concepts. Uh. Again, uh, uh, Elvin and Kenny, do we actually want to uh, talk about what are the concepts you think that has been most interesting to you? Yeah, maybe I'll start off first again. Uh, I think because uh, um, I, I myself is also a parent of two, two teenagers. Uh, then, uh, of course, the, the, the primary priority or rather uh, is that we, we I have to be focusing on the, the protection needs, uh, especially for my for my kids. Because at the end of the day, uh, no matter what happens, uh, life goes on for them. Um, they still have their, their daily needs, their education still have to go on. So uh, how to how to have that protection need from for them? So a, a lot of a lot of time I have to you know uh, work on the investment aspect of it. Lah, and how to how to go about doing it uh, in the right way and, and make sure it's not doing from a gambling perspective, but you know, a real, a really uh, investment perspective. That is something uh, I have to, it, at, least, at least for me in real life, I have to learn through experience and then pick up, you know, through, through mistakes and all that. But here in this course, I think what we can offer to, for the students is at least uh, for them to have a better understanding of the different uh, products. At least they know what is the right way to, to, to use them uh, in terms of investments. Yeah, so at least uh, that that's at least some takeaway from me lah. Yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, Elvin. Sure, thanks, man. Right, so for the what I always say is that feel feel that like, correct for the take back right correct is that right correct income versus savings right. So it's that like, for the kids right correct they don't have like so called like, income. So what they you do what they have is always about savings and those things, right? So they save for what? What they save for? Definitely for the something they want to. So what that's what we call delayed gratif gratifications. So everything is interconnected, right? So from the throughout the course, right, correct? We are actually right. That want to know, let them know that, right, correct? Since we don't have income, right, we are all going to save save money for what for something we want the the student the kids want. Then after that, right, correct, is to gain the happiness, right? Next thing. You then gain a happiness. Do they, for example, they save up fifty dollars or hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars? Are they going to spend one day a thousand dollar? No, that's what we call. We need to let them know the budgeting, right? Budgeting is like it like that. I don't spend all my savings later on. What happen if I don't buy some more things, right? So that triggers. I mean, let the students, right, kids, right, think that hey, spend within their means, right? The next thing is that as what. Kenny and Imi, right, correct, mentioned about the protection needs, right? That's something, right, correct. A lot of like, especially teenagers, right, they don't understand. They don't understand what's called insurance. They just know that the insurance agent come to our house. Hi, daddy, want to buy some insurance for your kids? Uh, does it? They don't understand what's meaning of insurance. And also, right, why our parents, right, correct, when I was young, why they bought for us the insurance? 
actually is that it's actually another form of love for them to protect them. So throughout the course, these are everything, right? Correct. A lot of things, right? We're going to tell the students. Right, Amy, please. Thank okay, you. Thank you so much. And personally, I think uh, uh, what is one concept uh, to me, like, which is most important, is the concept of passive income. Uh, really actually help them to change the mindset of what investment is. Of course, me being an investment trainer myself. Uh, again, you know, uh, don't always think that investment is about well, getting rich quick, uh, make money at the shortest possible time, chase the next sexier investment instrument, no one. Uh, so in fact, investment from a professional perspective is always about generating passive income and create it such that the passive income can cover expense so that to achieve financial freedom. And once that is achieved, right, okay, uh, we are able to have the choice of leading a, a more meaningful life. Like if let's say, you know, work is uh, uh, not one of the ways that we think can achieve our meaningful life. Okay, so of course, fashion freedom doesn't mean that don't need to work anymore, every day just this around, no. But at least we are given the choice. So in fact, personally, I think this is one of the main learning points that the participants should take away. It's not about just more and more money, but how to manage money in such a way that it can empower us to actually have a more meaningful life. Also, that is, in fact, one of the more important points, uh, at least for me. Okay, uh, so as promised, today is going to be a very short session. Uh, we are not going to talk any longer. So again, this is just a game. Uh, this is not like a course. Uh, this is not like a, uh, whatever you call boot camp, no? Which is just a game uh, for the participants to go through. And through this game, we believe that they could actually get what all the learnings that we mentioned. So three main parts, investment product, investment mathematics, and all the investment and financial concept. Huh? So this game is actually played over two sessions. The first session, we just um, initiate them, show them how to go around with playing with the spreadsheets. Of course, we will actually send a spreadsheet before that. Okay, then we will actually go through some of the main concepts on the main key terms. The next day when we come in on the 17th, then we have mini competition. Okay, we are definitely not going to say what is the objective first. Uh, yes, one is a happiness index, but at what age? We are not going to say. And then what is the other objective? Okay, we are not going to say. Uh, so after that, uh, through trying to figure out, okay, I'm quite sure they have a better understanding like, of the different strategies they can adopt um, to achieve a better financial future for themselves. Huh? Um, so I uh, really hope that you can actually get your kids to join us. Uh, we, the course is, com this game is confirmed right now. We have close to 20 packs uh, joining us playing this game for this time round. I think we could accept probably another five or six more. Yeah, I don't think we want to go more than 25 packs. Okay. So uh, once we hit 25 packs, uh, the registration will close. Um, yes, uh, so yes, we now we still have about, about six seats, uh, six to seven seats left. So if you're interested, all you have to do is just scan this QR code, okay? And you can just follow instruction there. Uh, so like I said, $40, uh, eventually they will have that Excel spreadsheet. Uh, so basically, we will send them an Excel spreadsheet. They can play as many times as they want. So with $40, uh, I'm quite sure you know it's quite worth it. Today, you go and buy a simple, simple Lego set. It's already more than $40. So I think uh, this is, uh, uh, I'm quite sure you'll find this price a, a very um, reasonable. And of course, the only request we have is this, please uh, do not disseminate the spreadsheet. Uh, please do not share the spreadsheet with anybody else. And uh, yes, the spreadsheet will be copyrighted. Uh, uh, if so happened that uh, we shared, uh, I think, oh, yep, uh, they're not supposed to share. Uh, that's, I think that's what I want to say. <laughs> okay, but they can actually own the spreadsheet. They can play themselves as many times as they want. Okay, uh, I guess that is all that we have. Uh, what, is there anybody, any questions?